My name is Nathan Bosef. You guys don't know already. I'm my father's second born son. Um, I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to thank you all so, 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 so much for your time, your energy, your your contributions, your... It's been a real, real blessing to see how many lives my dad has touched and impacted. I, um, I'm 24, I, I live in Birmingham. I've just finished my masters. Um, My dad, he gave his life for serving the community, serving uh, his people, our people. Um, he brought Uganda here to the UK. Um, he made it. He made it his priority, he made it his life goal, he made it his um Thank you. He made it his duty to serve, to serve, to keep, to to look after, to feed everyone here and I'm, I'm just a young man. I haven't. I've barely even seen 25 years of life. Um, my dad's been here in this community, bringing food weekly since oh, God knows when, 1995, 96. He's been here, and I, kn I know many of you have. Were also seen. You've also seen him when he started. It started humble beginnings, but he's managed to grow, 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 and. Uh, it's a testament to the support that you received all this time, even up to now. And uh, yes, as I said before, he served. He served the community. He served. He gave his life to ensure everybody can eat and even just have somewhere a community to fellowship and to be able to say that we are Ugandan. And yes, sorry, um, forgive. Um, forgive me for the fact that I, I cannot speak, but it's even a sacrifice that even he made um, just so that we all can have um, just a little bit of Uganda in the UK. And although I don't know much, what I know from all of the love and care and support that um, I've received over these last, what's well, been two days, uh, I can't, I can't, me and my family cannot thank you enough. The family here, the family back at home, we can't thank you enough for the support, the love, the care, the contributions, the kind words, the, the jokes, the, the many, many memories you shared with my father. I, even being in the shop, uh, when we heard the news, I was in Birmingham when, um, I first heard <sighs> My dad sent me to uni <laughs> He said Study hard. <laughs> it said, study hard and finish. And while you're here, you will serve as I've served. But it's the most important thing. As a believer in Christ, um, Jesus said, greater love has no man than this, than a man laid down his life for his friends. Mm -hmm. And 
Although my, my, my dad was in the shop literally 24 7, the only days he'd take off to have rest is Easter Day and Christmas Day. He, he truly laid down his life for his friends, his family, um, to provide for the community. When, uh, during term, uh, when the term time came to an end, during the breaks, I'd always come down. People have said, oh, I've never seen you before. I've never, no, I'm, I'm there. I'm, in the, I'm just at the back. You will never see me. At the, I'm, I'm working at the back, but I was always there to support my dad. Um, you've seen Bugembe, he's just left. Um, he had to leave early because as my dad um, uh, always did over these last 30 years, he will always be open at nine. So my brother's left so he can get the rest he needs. So we'll be open again and we'll continue to serve. Because that's, that's who my dad was, ultimately. A man committed to serve his people, our people. And yes, um, it's hard, it's difficult. This is a, a shock to us all. I can't say um, I'm more shocked than you. We're all completely devastated at the loss um, of my dad, of a community general almost. Uh, yeah, we just, we give glory to God for his life. And yes, although I say I'm Christian, my dad is also a believer in Christ. Um, I know many of you have come from all different religious faiths, all different backgrounds. You've come from whether you're in London or any part of England, Europe, wherever you've travelled, you've... The amount of people that have walked in and out of that shop and interacted with my dad, the relationship you've formed, um, I haven't even begin, begun, rather, to even understand how many people and lives my dad has impacted and you have impacted him you have indirectly raised us where there's six of us and um even more our family at home the people he's sent to school the the favors he's done for people um it's truly truly a blessing you you've raised me i'm the man i am today because you were able to support him and I just pray the coming days um, as we prepare all of the funeral arrangements, all of the things um, that need to be done in this time. Um, I pray for your continued support. I thank you so much. I, I, I genuinely can't believe it. As I heard the news, I didn't even, I just thought I was just going to be at home. We just process things as a family, but I've seen today, and that's even why I've stayed today. It's just uh, a testament to how many people um, my dad has touched and impact. This is my extended family. And, um, I'd like to thank you all, even though I haven't maybe um, spoken to you directly. You've spoken to my dad directly, so you've indirectly spoken to me because... The relationship you had with him is what's kept him going, what's kept him in the shop, what's kept him weekly bringing everything that he could hear, and it's what's raised me to be the man I am today. So I thank you all. God bless you. As we go through this difficult time, may his favor. May his favour keep us, may his strength be with us and I pray, I pray that we remain strong and we keep on going forward and um, one of my dad's dear friends who, I don't know, I think he's just left but um, he gave a nice analogy about a train and how everybody has um, their destination, their stop that they have to get off at. Uh, it was my dad's time. Uh, although it's a shock to everybody, that was his time. But we keep going forward on the train. And we'll continue to try our hardest. We'll continue to try our best to 
to preserve his memory, to, to even go stronger, to even make more. So I'd like to thank you all. God bless. Um, I have to go now. Um, we have a lot to organize. Um, yes, the shop still needs to run. My dad, as he said, if we're here, 9 a.m. So I'll be off now, but you'll see me tomorrow. I'll be there. I'll be there. And God bless you. Um, just before you go, thank you for that wonderful word you've given us. I would like to tell you that your dad has always been proud of you. Um, when we, when I came to speak to your dad at one point, we talked about education. Somehow, I don't know how I got to speak to him about my son's course. Uh, but mm -hmm. somehow I told him that my son is, is studying biomedical science. He said, oh, by the way, one of my sons did that. He's at the back. I don't know if you remember that day. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. So he called you. He came. And then because I know, at that time, I think my son was in second year. He's in third year now. I spoke to you, but I was so overwhelmed at the calmness, the willingness, the eagerness that you had. You spoke to me at length. Yeah. I remember we walked yeah, we for some as well carrying the matoke for me. <laughs> and you did not only stop there, you, you, asked, you willingly asked for my son's number. You contacted him. You know, all that is. Is, those are fruits of your dad. Yes, because 100%. of the person that he is, mm -hmm. he instilled that in you. And you're continuing to give it to the community, yeah. to other people. When you graduated, then you spoke to my son, you guided him, you've always been someone. And yet, you have a, don't you, you only met him a bit, is it last week? Yeah, just a few. Just a few, just a, yeah. yeah. Just met him once, but you've always been there trying to guide him. When you went in for the masters, your dad showed me the, 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 the pictures of your graduation. <laughs> you know. All I wanted to say now is that he has always been proud of you. You know that maybe you need also to hear it from another person. So well done for doing that. Continue to be strong. And we know not let him down. Yeah. Wherever he is, he's going to be proud of you always. Well done.